WLEX 18 News Now. Good morning, just past eight. Thank you for joining us for LEX 18 News Now. I'm Chris Goodman. An overnight fire in Powell County destroyed a mobile home, killed two dogs, and injured another animal. The fire broke out in the 1500 block of Lone Oak Road in Clay City after midnight. We're told it was engulfed when firefighters arrived. Once it was under control, two dogs were found dead, a cat alive but with burns. They say propane and electric was running, meaning it appears someone lived inside. Last we heard, fire crews have not been able to get a hold of the person they believe is the resident. Some developing news this morning. Kentucky Utilities reporting about 6,000 people in Anderson County still without power on this frigid morning. We've now learned Anderson County schools are closed today. As a result, it appears power went out shortly before 6. Officials say they hope to have power restored by 930. They say the outage is due to equipment issues at a substation. We have a crew on scene and we'll keep you updated throughout the morning. There are more people leaving Kentucky than there are people coming to Kentucky. That's according to a new study by moving company United Van Lines. Kentucky ranks eighth on their list of most moved from states of 2017. Illinois, New Jersey and New York top the list. The company says 56 percent of the moves involving Kentucky are outbound. Hope you can join us on air for LEX 18 News at noon. All the day's news and your latest forecast. And meteorologist Tom Ackerman has details on a brief warm up next in the LEX 18 Storm Tracker forecast. Ageless medical weight loss can help improve your overall health. Robert lost 107 pounds and 83 inches. He reduced his cholesterol and triglycerides levels. Ageless is a safe, affordable, medically supervised weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. I suppose there's something sad about getting excited about maybe warming up to freezing, but you got to take what you can get when you're as cold as we are. This is where we are at the moment. Six in Lexington. It's four in Flemingsburg. The wind chill has been sub zero. It's now one below. We were at three below last hour, seven below in Flemingsburg, almost 10 below, nine below up in Covington. So it is wicked cold out there. We're up to nine straight days in a row. Today will be the 10th if we don't get to 33 where we've been at or below freezing. And uh, this could be a potential just shy of a two week run because we're going to cut it off this weekend. Look how far south the Arctic air has gone, tracking a coastal winter storm, essentially what will become a nor'easter. Ice and snow from possibly north Florida. That's a winter storm warning that's out in that purplish color, or I guess fuchsia maybe. And uh, that goes all the way northeast up to Boston. And then this orange is a blizzard warning that's running anywhere from uh, coastal parts of Maine down through coastal New Hampshire and coastal Mass. Uh, they're talking about... A full-on blizzard, nor'easter, 7 to 15 inches of snow, blowing snow, 70 mile per hour wind gust, mayhem up there, and a wind chill watch on the back end of it into the uh, mountains. So what are we dealing with? Well, we've got a cold front tracking in nor nor'easter for sure, but the problem is this is the leading edge of another shot of Arctic air. So just as we start to warm up a little bit and get close to freezing today, here comes that shot of Arctic air, and along that boundary, we've had a little hint of snow. We've got the possibility of just maybe uh, some flurries and scattered snow showers this evening. Like we saw New Year's Eve, we may see just a little bit of minor to light powdery accumulation out there. It's going to be so cold. Coming up, we'll talk about the deep freeze that follows, but a warm-up later in the weekend as we uh, check out everything on LEX 18 News at noon.